Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Nini. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about, well, the title kind of says it all. Um, I've actually never announced on any of my social media platforms that I am now in cosmetology school. Um, and although I'm only a month in, I feel like there's a couple things that you need to know before even considering going to cosmetology school. It's not a walk in the park. And whether you're a month in, three months in, or at the end of your you know, school career in cosmetology school, um, I feel like anybody could say that. It's just, it's not, you know what I mean? And um, I think that some, sometimes that, um, but from the outside, like you, um, people can kind of underestimate that. Uh, anyway, um, I started, just decided to make a video on what I've learned so far in my first month, and um, or just before. Um, I also, to be honest, I don't think I discussed it much on my social media platform. I think I felt kind of weird about making like a career change. Like I, I was a business major before, and um, after a couple of years, I thought, I, you know, I thought to myself, I feel like I want to go back to school and do a career change. And I, um, I those, although these two subjects are completely different from each other, I was bouncing back and forth between cosmetology and nursing. And I actually finished all of my prereqs for nursing. And yeah, I just felt like I was just like, oh man, like why am I getting this like sudden weird feeling? I'm like, should I do it? Should I go for it? Like, should I wait a little bit longer? Should I think about this a little bit more? And um, I, I ended up just going up with cosmetology. Funny enough, like when it came to, you know, enrolling into the cosmetology program and stuff, things just were a lot more seamless, a lot more smoother. And that could be a video for another day. We would just, bizarre things were happening when it came to like, even so much as doing my prereqs for nursing, whereas like cosmetology school, like I, you know, miracul miraculously, I came from like 18th place on the wait list and got in. But like I said, that's a video for another day. I'm here in cosmetology school and I'm happy and I'm proud to say that. So I made a short list of things that I wanted to share with you all. So um, I wrote them all down so I could just stay on track. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to share that with you. So let's get started. So the first thing that I have on my list is the financial investment. Guys, cosmetology school is not cheap. Like beauty school, I mean, I'm in California right now, but I, honestly, I don't even think it matters where you're at. Like, I think that's basically just the price tag that it has. Like, it's just expensive and it's really something that you have to plan for like ahead of time. It's not something that you could just, I feel like just decide on the back. Unless you have it that way, then good for you. That's amazing. Like, go for it. You know, um, depending on where you're at, you might even find that your community college offers like some sort of cosmetology program. And if it does, great. But, um, usually even so it's still really really expensive especially if you don't have things like financial aid and whatnot um like i said you just really have to plan for it prepare for it ahead of time uh your tuition should come with like a kit or at least mine does um and that kit will include your blow dryer your mannequin your straightener a bunch of different brushes and combs and shears and what have you but you still have to go back out and buy um other supplies and you know, it's not like your typical, you know, you prepare for college and you run to the store to your, you know, nearest Target or what have you and buy a couple notebooks, a calculator and, um, you know, folders and pens and pencils or what have you. It's not like that. You gotta go to a beauty store or maybe hit up Amazon. In my case, the beauty store that my school suggested was way, way cheaper, but you're gonna still, um, you're still gonna have to go out of your way and buy more supplies. But it's still a lot of money, especially after you're finished paying, uh, paying for your tuition. It's, it could be very very pricey and every dollar really matters um, and I'll get to why um, I'm saying that in my uh, in deal number two but I just want to quickly go over all of the supplies that I had to buy aside from what was not included in my kit you'll also find that your kit you know um, it comes with things but you might need to buy more of those things or you know you might find that you know those things don't exist one of the some, one or two of the items don't work for you you know what I mean you might prefer something different or whatever the case may be but in any case the bottom line is you need to to be prepared for the fact that you might still need to buy supplies that's not that's not included in your kit um some of the things that i had to get were a bunch of different like perm rod sets um you know uh, rollers like the magnetic sets and such um, i needed to buy butterfly clamp um butterfly clamps spatula disinfecting solution and whatnot and you know, I'd like for it, like I mentioned before, um, I I didn't I went to one of my beauty stores that um, my school suggested, and this stuff um, came out to be very cheap. But I did end up leaving that beauty store with like two boxes filled with stuff. So 
every dollar adds up in my opinion i could be very frugal in that way and um like i said you know if you got it that way great but <laughs> like for me i was just like whew, like it yeah it adds up especially like in my case where i like to wish you know i don't have any sort of like financial aid or anything like that so paying it for everything out of pocket every dollar matters the next thing that i want to talk about um kind of ties into my first point is again investment and this kind of investment that i want to talk about is actually your time investment you need to be prepared to spend majority of your time in beauty school um in my state like the state of california you need 1200 hours in order to get your license and um you with that said you can't miss like a lot of time a lot of beauty school programs are full-time some um you know some programs offer offer part-time you know you need to find which program what's best for you in my case i just wanted to get in there i want to i want to finish i want to you know not not that I don't want to take my time I do so what that means is I'm attending beauty school from Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, that is a lot of time at least in my opinion it's a lot of time and obviously with that in mind you you know working a job might be a little bit harder you know what I mean so uh, you need we really need to plan for that as well plan for all of the time that you're going to be spending in beauty school and if you are able to go to work after beauty school great but that also might mean that you know it's a sacrifice in terms of not spending time with your significant other or your kids or whatever the situation is that you have at home if you have somebody that's supporting you at home great you know go for it then obviously you don't need to think about this this doesn't apply to you but you know even um even if if it's not the work thing that applies to you it's still time spent away from your like your friends your family you're just gonna have to say no a lot you're gonna have to learn to just be okay with it normalize it and your friends and family if they're your true friends you know what i mean they're gonna they'll understand and if they don't well you know we'll see them at the finish line but um, needless to say it's very very time-consuming and it's quite the commitment you know like so if you are working part um, part time, if you are working part time while in beauty school, your funds might be a little bit limited because you're paying, you know, because you're paying for school, or be or because you're only working a certain amount of hours because the rest of your time is dedicated to school. So, just plan for all of that ahead of time because most beauty schools have a certain amount of seats, and there's somebody out there. And if you're not taking it seriously, there's somebody out there that really, really wants your seat. So, don't waste your own time. Just really think about all of those things jot all of you know all of this down ahead of time like on a paper and you know just yeah you make a decision and make sure that it is for you i really believe you gotta have a passion for it um you know what i mean like a lot of people go into cosmetology school and dabble in different things and that's what i like about cosmetology school like with being a licensed cosmetologist means you can do so many things which brings me to uh, like a next small point that i want to make don't go into cosmetology school that you're going to learn every single thing out there in terms of what's trending like on instagram stuff of course you'll learn the foundation of what you need but you know not not every little thing you know there's like ultimately that's why there's things called continuing education the next thing that i want to discuss is that it requires a lot of patience be aware though time goes by really really fast like i can't even believe it's already been a month like i'm like i don't know sometimes it sometimes that makes me nervous but if anything what's uh, what somebody told me um that i want to share with you all is to mess up now mess up while you're in school you know what i mean like that's what school is for it's for you to learn for your mistakes you know what i mean don't be afraid like to not try something try that thing if that you know what i mean that that you're so afraid to do it while you're in school while you have your mentors and your professors with you um they're that's literally what they're there for to help you to step out of your comfort zone don't be that person that's all sitting it all the way in the back of the classroom that's afraid to ask questions my next point make a separate ig account now or a tiktok or join um clubhouse social media is taken over when it comes to marketing and really branding yourself so you know look at other profiles if you want to um you know research tips watch youtube videos on really how to brand yourself and come out that you know cr create your vision if you will on your social media platform create a separate a separate profile from your personal account that way when you start working on clients you can start building your portfolio from the ground up like you're ready to go that way when you get out of school you really have something to kind of stand on um and then finally don't compare yourself you know and i think it's so easy to do that especially with social media and it can really 
I don't know, I guess like uninspire you. So don't, don't, don't get too much in your head. Understand that we are all at our own pace and everybody starts somewhere. You know, you, you weren't, you, we, people weren't born just knowing how to braid hair. People weren't born just knowing like right out the womb how to highlight hair. And I feel like we're all like in this time and space where we're used to learning things really, really quickly. And you know, that understand that that's not gonna be the case with beauty school. That's why there's a school for it. And it's okay not to be good right off the bat. That's why there's things called practice and you know what I mean and we've what we've been watching like these videos about like these um these people that that enter competitions and compete and literally spend hours and hours and hours looking at it analyzing it taking notes taking it down and then putting it and then putting it together again and setting that timer as you're doing it the last thing that I actually this is the last thing that I want to talk to you about is maybe getting in some sort of journal I got this journal from one of my favorite creators he and her name is uh, Leanne B <laughs> I'm gonna manage that I can meet her one day. Anyway, um, basically I can document my affirmations and my manifestations um, in this book. And I think that it's really, really important to kind of just take a moment in the mirror and just look at yourself and tell yourself that, you know, I am worthy, I am good enough, I am successful. Just take 30 seconds off the day to do that. There is no harm in being nice to yourself. I notice a difference when I don't do this for a while, when I don't, you know, tell, my, you know, tell myself those positive things you know like uh, you know on a more regular basis it's uh, and I know that it that might sound weird but I think that we're so used to being pessimist sometimes and you know just like like I said like I was mentioning earlier comparing ourselves to others or just like this overthinking aspect and you know I I don't I don't know where it comes from or where it starts but what I'd like to do is break that habit of doing so and when I make the habit of doing this and just or just in general just being you know kinder to myself you know it's starts my day off a lot better i feel motivated when i you know when i start school that day so anyway i think i'm done rambling now i'm going to wrap up this video again if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and do so if you already know the drill if you don't like this video i don't know why you're still here anyway i think i'm gonna do another series make this the whole cosmetology series yeah i like that anyway i, I hope you guys are all well and safe take care till next time bye